Today we are going to work on solving geometric sequences, which is where we multiply by the same number over and over and over. This is the equation that you will find in math te textbooks or if you search the internet. However, I like to reverse the A and the R and use this equation instead. It is the same thing, but <coughs> when you're putting stuff into the calculator, you need to do exponents first before you multiply. So I just like this version better. All right, so let's take a look at this pattern here. What are we multiplying by over and over and over? We are multiplying by two over and over and over. Let's just take a peek at this fifth term. For this fifth term, we are multiplying by two, one, two, three, four times. So technically, the n would be 5 and then minus 1 would be 4. So that is the reason for having that n minus 1. So let's say we are solving for the 10th term. We would have to multiply by 2 9 times. So our equation would be um, a sub n, which we can actually replace the n with 10 if we're solving for that 10th term. Common ratio is 2. So r stands for the ratio or what you're multiplying by to the power of 9 times, and then this is your starting number. We started with the number one. <coughs> All right, so let's use a calculator. Two, this one is your exponent button to the power of nine. Oops, that didn't work out. Ah, <laughs> okay, two to the power of, and you'll get this little box right here, nine equals and then anything times one is still itself, so that one would be 512. <coughs> All right, let's try another one. All right, so this one, what are we multiplying by? Well, 10 times three is 30, but it must be a negative because a positive times a negative is a negative. Let's just double check it right here. Negative times negative is positive, and 30 times three is 90. So the common ratio is negative three. All right, so let's say we're gonna solve for the um, 10th term here also. So our equation, all right, so a sub n, and then common ratio is negative three to the power of 9 because 10 minus 1 is 9 and then times it by our starting number which is 10. All right now here's the silly thing for this negative 3 if we put negative 3 into the calculator with an exponent it's going to do the opposite of positive 3 times positive 3 times positive 3 9 times but we want to multiply that negative 3 over and over and over so we have to put negative three into parentheses so that negative also gets multiplied over and over. Tyler, give me two minutes. <coughs> All right, so negative three to the power of nine times 10. Clear that out. Negative three, and you can also use the minus for it, to the power of nine and then times that by 10. So this would be your answer. And you're gonna get a lot of silly answers today. Um, when you put that into your assignment, you do not need any commas. All right, um, last one here. Ooh, the numbers are getting smaller. All right, so this one we must be dividing by the same number over and over and over. All right, let's shoot the blueberries right there. There we go. Tyler's playing a game where he sh it's like um, you shoot fruit and you try to have them all like cluster and then you get some jelly. All right, so we are dividing by three. Dividing by three is the same as multiplying by one third. Another way to kind of figure out the fraction is you could go kind of in reverse. 
This one is the numerator. This one is the denominator. 9 27ths, and that could simplify to one third. Okay, um, but also kind of basically whatever you're dividing by is the denominator and then the numerator is one. You might have some tricky ones like in high school, but um, for this year, it, it'll be pretty much all easy. One third, one fourth, one fifth, one sixth. All right, so <clears throat> let's say we're going to solve for the, let's do the 15th term for this one. So for the 15th term, it would be one third to the power of 14 times the number we started with, which was 27. All right, so for the one third, we can do one Mama. divided by three. Mama, you didn't get jelly yet? Here, let's put this red one here, and then that'll help get you some more fruits, okay? All right, um, to the power of 14, and then times it by 27. Yikes, this one is a scary one. All right, so this would be your itty bitty number. So if we are looking at this pattern, the numbers are going to get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So it would be this as your answer. And this little e in negative 7, we're going to learn about that later. That's called scientific notation. Um, all right. Um, I don't have a copy of your assignment like super handy. I'm at my other computer. But if you are typing answers or like copying and pasting from your calculator, um, let's say you copied this and you want it to go here. Click this cell, but then paste it up here. <coughs> um, sometimes if you paste it here, it'll mess up like the cells or it'll default to like a date or a time or something weird. So just to avoid any like weirdness, if you paste it up here, this is called the formula bar. Um, that's how you can copy and paste your answers from your calculator today. All right, good luck.